America, the land of the obese and the home of millions of idiots. As we all know, the United States is home to some of the most iconic places and cities in the world, but it is also home to some of the most disgusting, diabolical, and straight up weird places on the earth as well. From rat infested, no brim wearing, randomly shouting, yer, for no reason, New York, to roaming alligator, hurricane prone, real life version of hell on earth named Florida. The variety of trash places to live that America has to offer is far and wide. And today we're going to be taking a look at just some of the worst places to live in the united states also i do just want to say that this video is 100 percent a joke so if i happen to mention the state or city that you live in please don't take it to heart number one ohio we're starting off this list nice and hot by talking about arguably the most strange and terrifying state of them all for any of you who don't know ohio is basically what i would imagine a gta 5 lobby look like in real life ohio over the last year has become nothing but a breeding ground for the most weird type of creatures to spawn only in ohio is it possible to walk down the street and see bigfoot bent over taking a dookie only in ohio is it possible to see humanoid aliens having sex in the woods only in ohio is it possible to get chased two blocks by a gang of polar bears and to all people who just asked how is it possible for polar bears to be in ohio i don't know my only answer is it's ohio anything's possible i know it's said that area 51 is located somewhere in nevada but in my opinion i think it's located right in the center of ohio that's the only way to explain these absolutely diabolical occurrences that go on there i've seen videos of dinosaurs randomly spawning out of nowhere like it's jurassic park or something i've seen videos of dudes getting pressed by kangaroos built like mike tyson and apparently they got military tanks just chilling in the streets of ohio like you know it's a damn war zone when they have to have tanks just chilling on the sidewalk like what is really going on over there sometimes i have to ask myself if ohio is even a real place are there actually 50 states or are there only 49 because sometimes it feels like the entire state including everyone and everything that inhabits it it's just one big simulation i don't know if any residents of the ohio area are watching this video right now but if you are i urge you to evacuate immediately it's only a matter of time before some stranger things type shit starts happening and before you know it you got demogorgon looking as monsters roaming the streets but to be quite frank i wouldn't even say that the animals if you can even call them that are the worst part about ohio i think the worst part about ohio is the people have y'all ever seen an ohio person in the flesh the demonic look in their eyes the rotten smell that reeks from their body their sharp almost wolf-like nails what if there really aren't any monsters in ohio after all what if the people in ohio are the monsters number two new york now while there are a bundle of things that one can like about new york one could argue that there are about double the amount of things not to like about new york first we got probably the most trendy thing about new york and that's the drill music now don't get me wrong when drill music first became trendy and popular i was f***ing with it what can i say there's something oddly satisfying about getting sturdy to the almost deafening beat drops of new york drill music but my god did y'all drive it into the ground it got to a point where every new york rapper and by every i mean every new york rapper was rapping on what sounded like the same beat it got so bad to the point where it was almost impossible to tell the difference from one rapper to another and every song consists of the rapper disrespecting a dead person along with their entire lineage even to this day every new york drill song sounds damn near the same and don't get me wrong every now and then you'll hear rappers be somewhat creative and have somewhat unique beats but for the most part about 80 percent of the music sounds the same and has gotten to a point where it's become outplayed and then there's the reason that drill music exists the bronx if i wanted to i could make a whole video in itself dedicated to the criminal activities that go down in the bronx the Bronx is the center of all the illegal and devious acts that go down in New York. If you're not careful, there's a good chance that you could get shot simply over a bacon, egg, and cheese. And more than likely, it won't even be by an actual person. It'll be by the rats and Timberland boots that hide in the sewers. I'm not even joking. When I say in the state of New York, it's more likely for you to get your J snatched by a rat with no brim than it is for you to get yelled at and cursed out by a random stranger. And let's not forget the woman of New York. And listen, to all the ladies from New York, I love y'all. I really do. But y'all are just so damn aggressive and mean if you ever thought that new york dudes were aggressive then you might as well be prepared to run the instant you see a female in new york i've never seen a place where so many women tell people to suck their dicks in my life like for one i didn't even know y'all had dicks to suck but to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if they did for the simple fact that the females in new york are built like nfl players they look like they could easily body slam a gorilla if they wanted to and then on top of that they'd be ready to scrap in an instant let you talk about how they weave messed up or let you talk about how their outfit doesn't match say goodbye you're instantly getting ko'd it's an instant 12-hour slumber for you buddy number three 
Florida. To be honest with you, I think living in Florida is probably a bigger liability than it is a good thing. I don't know why, but Florida is just a capital of natural disasters. For one, they have flooding pretty much every year, basically to the point that you'll be able to swim in the streets as if it's a swimming pool. You might even see an alligator or two floating down the river, along with hurricanes. As a matter of fact, I actually think Florida is the leading state in terms of hurricanes or any natural disaster for that matter. And you know it's bad when one of the biggest college teams in the state is called the Hurricanes. But what I find worse than all of that is the heat. For any of you who don't know, Florida is pretty much the living version of hell. I'm pretty sure there's not a day in that godforsaken state when it's not scorching hot. It's so bad that if you ever tried to walk on the pavement with no socks, that it would feel almost like your feet were being fried right beneath you. It's so damn hot that I'm pretty sure the state is just permanently stuck in summer. They don't have spring, they don't have fall, and they damn sure don't have a winter. It's just summer year round. And they combine that with the outrageous amount of mosquitoes and just all the pesk they have in Florida. And it's honestly just a combination for a terrible time. Number four sweet home alabama now for those of you who don't know about alabama already alabama is a place where a lot of weird things happen a lot of sexually weird things and let's just say that if you were born and raised in alabama that there's a good chance that your mom and dad are siblings hell there's probably a good chance that your grandma and granddad are cousins i don't know what it is about people who live in alabama and their weird sexual attraction to their family relatives but to be honest it's starting to get weird now aside from the step sis and step bro activities that take place there are lots of other weird things i despise about alabama for one there's nothing but grass and trees for miles and miles pretty much the most exciting thing you'll see in alabama is cows eating grass or the occasional ufo sighting the best way to describe how alabama looks is imagine the complete opposite of new york no buildings no stores no random group of people getting sturdy in the middle of the street to be honest i'm convinced that people in alabama pretty much live like cavemen but in all honesty i'm surprised that the residents of alabama don't die from absolute boredom i mean to be honest death would probably be the most exciting thing that happened to them i just imagine that all people alabama do for entertainment is hunt deer drink beer and watch football your typical redneck activities pretty much the only good thing there is to say about alabama is that they have a pretty good college football team but that's pretty much it number five california aka the state that pretty much only rich people can live in i'm gonna be honest with you chief the fact that california is literally home to four of the top 10 most expensive cities in the country tells me all i need to know and that's why i don't plan to move to california anytime soon or really ever for that matter I'm pretty sure it's less expensive for me to literally throw my money away than it is for me to own an apartment or any type of a home in California. Now, aside from the highway robbery that's committed by the IRS, California is also known for some of the most strange occurrences to randomly happen. Like how at least once every year, the forest randomly burned to the ground. I don't know if there's some kind of forest demon that randomly starts forest fires in California, but clearly they got a problem with trees randomly catching a blaze. But honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from the state that is home to the city of Los Angeles. California is also home to probably the worst NBA team in the league named the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All you Lakers fans can put down your pitchforks. It was a joke. But anyways, I think it's going to do it for this video. You guys know the drill. As always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think is the worst place to live in America, whether it be city or state. Also, I want you guys to let me know if you guys want a part two, because there are a bunch of more places that I could name that I left out in this video. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, peace.